Hello everyone, it's Monica, also known as Sleeved After 60, and I'm coming to you um, answering a special tag, which is who inspired me, or who inspires me. And I wanted to mention um, a person in particular, and um, it's Brit Brat. And if you don't know her or haven't um, watched her videos, please do so. I'm going to try my best to put a shortcut, but you know I'm not good. I really need an IT team to help me with all this. But um, I kind of found um, Brett Brat in maybe last June. Um, I started looking at... Um, around you know the beginning of June of last year is when I started to oh my god it's almost a year ago isn't it that I started to um, to do research online because the whole issue of, um, of me having surgery had come up and um, I was in the beginning stages so I found Brit Brat and um, the thing that that most um, that was most awe-inspiring is aside from the change in and if you watch the beginning and you see the how physically she changed it's it's just surprised not surprising because of course but you can see how week by week you know she is changing but what what's really amazing to me what it really struck with me um, and she was only a few months out when I when I started to follow her was or subscribe to her was her voice never changed and by that I don't mean the tenor of her voice I meant who she was and who she is and she who she continues to be um, she's the interesting thing to me is that we have a lot in common in how we look out our weight in that she was always very positive and she was always you know on task like this is what I need to do follow the doctor um, and here's what I'm doing and she worked really really hard aside from from the fact that she works nights that she has a, she, at the time she had a two-year-old um, and everything else but she just I think really encompassed and continues to encompass that what what my core belief is about being kind to yourself of being about being true to yourself um, about um, just you know having having trust in the process and just doing it following directions and just doing it and um, I think that she um, she was always realistic she had high expectations of herself and that didn't mean that I never I never I never heard her say um, you know I'm disappointed of what I lost or what I didn't lose it was always sort of like this is what it is and people don't shoot on yourself you know and don't um, don't don't one of the things that I really liked about her one day was um, that she said about not getting on and making and, and apologizing for how you look so don't come in and tell me you don't have makeup on and and your house is a mess and all that stuff it's like I don't know no don't do it don't do it you know just just be you um, you don't have to do that it's kind of like it's us um, and I really really appreciated that from her because I found her to um, to just be just to be supportive of others and supportive of herself and when she didn't you know if she gained or and I don't even know if actually she ever gained but she was just this is how it is this is what I'm eating this is what I'm doing and you know and I remember she says something about her daughter and I don't know if she's gonna remember this when she watches this I hope she does but I was at Chipotle buying, you know, dinner one night, and I have no idea what it was that she said that just brought me to tears. And it was so real and so lovely that she was talking about, um, I might have even been making, what are you making room for, if I remember, because that's one of my videos, you know, that I ask people to do. 
and you know she's she's hoping to you know have another baby and have a big old tummy and um, and have a healthy pregnancy um, in time and I don't know if that was it but I'm sure that I probably came across as this crazy woman because I instant message and I think that might have been the very first time I ever even used that and just said you just you know made me cry um, because being the mother of a 36 year old when you think about you know babies and having had babies and all that it gets it can get emotional and you know I didn't scare her away but she was just lovely she was just just lovely I'm sorry that I didn't go to Chicago last year when Liz was here because I could have gotten a flight and, and just, you know, from the Twin Cities and gone. I'm really sorry if you're, if you're watching this, Brit, that I didn't do that because it would have been lovely. I was just too afraid at the time, I think it was in November, I was too afraid that it would never happen for me. So I was feeling like an imposter that it would never happen to me and I was going to be that crazy woman that made videos and did all this stuff and she really isn't one of us. So, Brit, to you, to your future, to you having babies and having a big old belly, I salute you. Thank you for having been so lovely to me, um, knowing that I'm old enough to be your mom. Um, you are just, what an inspiration in your fat girl confession um i went back uh and saw it once because i had forgotten some of the stuff and boy um i am so proud to be a part of a community that has you as a member and hopeful to be living in a world where um you're raising children so this is to you brit